the record-breaking hurricane season continues, Ian. Well, that's right. With newly formed a tropical storm, it's the EAS, basically causing life-threatening flash flooding as well as landslides across uh, Hispaniola and uh, Puerto Rico. Now crossing uh, Hispaniola, Dominican Republic is seeing the brunt of uh, this uh, storm and it will continue to bring rainfall amounts over the mountainous island of Hispaniola up to 250 millimeters expected and it should eventually cross uh, the island and eventually reform towards uh, the north. So we could be seeing it's a yes breaking and move towards the northwest heading for the uh, southeast and the Bahamas still bringing rainfall amounts there in excess of 200 millimeters and eventually skirting up towards the northern Bahamas through the weekend. But for us here in Trinidad and Tobago, we have seen some unstable weather, courtesy of a bit of moisture around. We could be seeing just uh, some brief showers uh, overnight into the early part of uh, Friday, looking at a low of 25 degrees Celsius in the Tobago, closer to 24 degrees Celsius, the minimum likely for Trinidad. Maybe just the odd stray thunder shower later on this evening, but overall conditions should be brightening up quite nicely as we go towards the end of Friday and continuing into Saturday. Offshore, the winds remain a gentle. They've now returned to our traditional easterly direction with a slight moderate chop of one to one and a half meters in the Caribbean, closer to two meters through the Atlantic as you go through your Friday. And if you are looking to head out, you've got your height at 12.45 a.m. Next one at 2.30 p.m. So that's your weather. Video.